Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Got a Victoria Cerveza. This is a 4% ABV. This is another beer that um, I haven't had in a long time, but it's one that I found that is a very, very good quality um, Mexican lager. Um, Cerveceria Modelo Mexico. Good stuff. It's nice and cold. I think I bought a while back a six pack of this. And uh, it was good. I think I, think I might have tried it in some Mich Micheladas, but I don't remember for sure if I did that. Um, oh yeah, mm, has a nice sweet aroma. It smells like it's probably a, a corn adjunct. Sweet malts. This almost smells like, I think someone mentioned to me on another beer that I did, mentioned like corn syrup. And this has that kind of aroma that it might be like a corn syrup type additive. It smells really good. But since it's in a brown bottle, I'm going to pour it off in my little, my little glass, just to kind of get an appearance. See, that has kind of a dark amber. <clears throat> so the Victoria, it might be a dark, a dark amber type beer. Um, so just a guess, but I'm thinking this could have hops in it. If anybody knows for sure about that, let me know. Not that the darkness has anything to do with having hops in it, but it just seems like when they're, when they're not like a, when it's dark like this, it almost, I mean, it could be like a dark lager. I'm trying to think of what the style might be, um, but it just looks like a, like a, you know, more of an amber, you know, kind of a bockish type appearance or something. It smells good. Let's try it out. Ooh, wow, that's good. Mm. Sweet, um, has a little bit of a brown bread crust type bitterness on the back end. Carbonation is about a medium burn. <coughs> um, close to a medium body on it. Um, Yeah, kind of a like a sweet up front, bitter on the back end type of beer. It does kind of have a, I mean, with the darker kind of malts to it, it has a little bit, um, um, like a little bit more of a, well, the bitterness. But it's really good. I'm trying to think of other stuff about it that's, I don't know if I would have used this on a Michelada or not, because it being a darker beer, these are more more ones you want to enjoy by themselves. <clears throat> um, and a lot of times when you use a Michelada, um, you want to use like maybe beers that aren't in higher quality type, um, if that makes any sense. Um, <clears throat> But I do like using my higher quality type Mexican lagers in, in my micheladas just because I think it makes it taste, you know, even better. I hear voices. It's distracting me.
Very good beer. Very good. Got kind of scratched up. I don't have one of these bottles. These big. This is a 32 fluid ounce bottle. Um, <clears throat> muy frío. <laughs> nice cap anyway I'm just rambling um, just trying to talk about the beer as much as I can um, <clears throat> my thoughts on it yeah I just don't know if I'd want to use you know a darker type Mexican beer for my micheladas when they're they're they're, they're so good that um, just by themselves, they're, it's nice to enjoy them, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, and these type of beers, these darker ones, darker amber type, um, I don't usually, <clears throat> use like salt and lime with them um, because they just they're they're more flavorsome um, that they don't really need a salt and lime with them um, not to say that you couldn't I mean I'm sure people will use a salt and lime with these type of, uh, of a beers um, but my, my lighter lager type beers like um, Corona, regular Modelo, even sometimes Modelo, just regular Modelo, I won't use um, salt and lime with. Um, the Jalisco, um, salt and lime. Um, like the, the Modelo Negra, I won't use salt and lime with. The uh, um, Corona Familiar, I won't use salt and lime with. Um, uh, uh, Blanc, uh, Cantina Blanc, uh, what's that one called? Blanca Cantina? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. The lighter, the lighter Mexican lagers. I'll use salt and lime with more than I will the more darker type beers. Good stuff. It's Sunday. Got to go back to work tomorrow. Just kind of chilling out. It's nice outside right now. Probably about uh, 58, 60 degrees, something like that. Still cloudy though. Um, my yard, my grass is really high. It needs to be mowed, but the ground is so soft if I do it. Especially if I use the rider lawnmower. It's going to make you know tracks in it. So I don't want to use the rider, and it's even still too mushy to use for the push mower. So. Okay, well I chatted you up enough, and uh, I'm enjoying this glass bottle of Victoria. Uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good coming week. Everybody be safe out there. Um, the world is loco right now, so just be careful. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if Victoria is one of your favorite Mexican beers, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. I have, I have more. I have more singles, so uh, I try to do one every day. If I can't do one every day, then I'll do one every other day. So this kind of depends on what's going on, but uh, okay. Well, I thank you all for watching and, oh, excuse me. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.